I want to get a reaction on all this. James Carfano joins us, Heritage Foundation national security expert. Uh, James, if you'll indulge me first on this China uh, issue the president is taking, that maybe China uh, would prefer to deal with another president, not this one, and will just drag its feet until it has one. Yeah, I, I have a slightly different read on that because I do agree China, North Korea, Iran, in many ways, they're trying to run this out to see the results of the election. But I think in each of them, I see signs that they increasingly think that Trump is going to get reelected. So what this means for the Chinese is, you know, happy to cut a deal and, and then Trump's gone. It's no big deal. But if they cut a deal and Trump's still there, he's going to pressure them the honor of that deal. He's actually been pretty tough on them in the negotiations. So, like, they're not just going to they can't get a faux deal. They need to do a real deal. And and so they've got to fight hard for that deal because they're going to have to deal with them after the election. I think that's their their calculus right now. Then let me switch to North Korea. What is the calculus with continuing to do these tests at, at short range missile tests? Although they may be technically not in violation of what they promised they wouldn't right. do. Uh, but they, they are provocative. And, of course, we do know the relationship Kim Jong-un and, and, and President Trump have engendered. I'm just wondering what his strategy then is with North Korea. Right. So here's the deal with North Korea. And you have to remember, all this is really based on, not, not conjecture, but based on an assessment of, of their external behavior. I mean, we don't have intelligence. We don't know what they're really thinking. But, but just looking at, at putting this in the context of what they're doing, I, I think from the North Korean perspective is what's changed? The only thing that's really changed in the last decades that might make them willing to do a deal is Trump. If Trump isn't there after 2020, then they'd be really done making a deal. So I think they really want to wait to see if Trump is still around before they think about making a deal. But having said that, you just can't sit around and do nothing for 18 months. And so what the North Koreans have been doing is, is kind of a very modest level of just, of just provocation, just so you know, they've got cards to play and, and, and make people know they're rep. But they're really not sending real signs that the negotiating process is in danger or that they're really interested in escalating. So I, I just think they're, they're marking time to see if Trump comes back. We will watch it closely. James Carfano, thank you. Always good seeing you. Thanks for having me.